With the ongoing proliferation of information sharing systems for healthcare professionals and patients, it's more important than ever that sensitive patient data is handled responsibly. As of January 2019, there were over 200 healthcare organizations in the U.S. that were affected by an IT slash hacking related incident that affected 500 or more patients. On average, uh, a breached healthcare provider spends about $408 per patient to recover healthcare records and up to $1.7 million in advertising to try and reverse uh, reputational damages. So with all these troubling trends in mind, Kaspersky commissioned a survey to almost 2,000 healthcare employees across the U.S. and Canada to try to understand the contributing factors uh, behind all of this. Uh, we focused our survey in several areas, uh, those being in awareness of data, protect, data protection regulations, uh, security policy, uh, security training, and then awareness of uh, IT security and system protection overall. So I'll briefly uh, step through some of those results in each of those areas. To their credit, federal regulators in both the U.S. and Canada have done a great job of acknowledging the importance of protecting healthcare information long ago when they instituted both the HIPAA regulation back in uh, 1996 in the U.S. and for Canada by instituting PIPEDA, which was in uh, 2000. But regardless of whether those regulations exist, it doesn't necessarily mean that healthcare organizations are adhering to them or making their employees aware of them. Uh, if we look at our survey, when we looked at U.S. healthcare employees, 18% of them didn't know what the HIPAA security rule meant. When we looked at Canada, there are two provinces, so both British Columbia and Nova Scotia, uh, that do not allow the storage of protected health information to be in the U.S. It has to reside in Canada. Yet when we asked uh, Canadian healthcare employees, 49% of them didn't know uh, where PHI needed to reside. So clearly there's a lack of awareness among healthcare workers in general that tends to widen the gap for attackers to succeed in this vertical. As one of the many facets of an effective IT security governance framework, it's very necessary for healthcare organizations to have a well-established and well-communicated cybersecurity policy for their healthcare employees to help them understand how they can be an active part of uh, mitigating and or preventing cybersecurity breaches in their own organizations. When we looked at the survey, 21% of respondents weren't aware of a cybersecurity policy in their organization, but admitted that there should be one. And then for organizations who did report to have a policy, 17% of enterprise and medium-sized businesses said they had read the policy more than once, as opposed to 10% of employees in smaller organizations that had admitted to, uh, to reading it more than once. Uh, so on a positive note, one in 10 managers were unaware of employees, only 10%. There's clearly room for improvement uh, to close the gap on having a cybersecurity policy in place. Uh, and then also the need for ongoing checkpoints to ensure that people are reading them more than once for awareness and ongoing adherence. The management aspect of this is key. So we're hopeful that that is a trend in a very positive direction. Part and parcel to cyber policy is that of cybersecurity awareness training on an ongoing basis uh, that includes knowing what to do uh, when it comes to security incidents. Cybersecurity awareness training is the key to building a culture of vigilance where people can take pride in doing their part to helping to mitigate or prevent threats to their patient data or their organization overall. When we look to our survey, about a third of U.S. healthcare employees had never had cybersecurity training but admitted that they should have. Uh, about a fifth said that they needed more training. When comparing employee populations across countries of those who had never received cybersecurity training across the U.S. and Canada, our surveys showed 24 and 41 percent respectively. Now regardless of country or region, cybersecurity training is an area where healthcare organizations can dramatically improve their employees 
ability to be the single most effective solution against mitigating threats posed to patient data. Concerning device awareness, since many of the IT systems and devices that are being used uh, do have patient data stored on them, it's incredibly important that healthcare practitioners understand how their devices are being protected. Our survey showed that 40% of healthcare employees that were surveyed didn't know how their IT uh, devices were being protected. And when it comes to size of the organization, it seems that awareness of those security devices actually increases as you increase in the size of the healthcare organization itself. So for small organizations, they had the highest percentage of unawareness of security on their devices at 53%, followed by medium orgs at 39%, and large organizations, enterprise organizations, at 36%. So a lack of awareness is obviously an issue. Uh, it could be indicative of a healthcare organization not having the right security uh, in place. And although it's incredibly important that security controls and solutions do exist on these devices, it's also important for healthcare employees to know, to have the level of confidence that the health information stored on those devices is as protected as it, as it possibly can be. If we strip it down, I think the report is, is telling us a couple things. First is, healthcare organizations can do a better job at education around regulation, around cybersecurity awareness, and around protocol, so employees know what to do if they find something or suspect something. Lastly, certainly healthcare organizations need to do a great job of protecting their devices, but more importantly, they need to tell their employees that they are putting those protections in place, that their employees have the confidence to say, I'm working for an organization that's doing the right thing to protect patient data and to protect my organization.